everyone. So we are in the part two of the tutorial for uh, learning Redux together. So today, after we have already done the Redux uh, store in the last one, now it's time to uh, do some stuff. So the first thing I want is to create a to-do. So how I work with my stuff, it's first thing I'm going to create a folder here called Actions. First thing I do, I do my action always first. It's going to be much more easy for me to understand what I need to, uh, to, to do with my reducer. So here, in some action, I'm going to uh, call a file called todos. I'm going to do the same in the reducer. So a reducer is going to have his action. Perfect. So here, inside my, to my action, the first thing I want, so I'm going to here create the, the spec we want. So we want to create a to-do. We want to list all to-do. So we want to see all to-do. After that, I want to click for complete a to-do. And I want to delete a to-do. And finally, I want to delete our complete to do. So this is what we want to do. So first thing, I'm going to create a const here called create to do's like that. So uh, after that, I'm going to create a function, export function, create to do. This one going to take a to do or a text. And gonna return a type of create to do and a text. Why do I do this line of code? First thing, you need to have a unique type for your reducer, because this is the way uh, we, the reducer know which action you call. So you want it to make unique. And after that, why I create a, a variable here? It's because I'm really bad in typing. In this way, I know after I've created this variable, I can use this variable really easy. Because now if I make like a, a string like that and I forget to do dot, that don't gonna work. So here I have my create to do. So if you can see, it's a per function. We take a text as an argument and gonna return an object with a type of create to do and a text. After that here, inside my reducer, I'm gonna import at the top, curly bracket, because we import const from action to do's like that i'm gonna import create to do so i import only my type why because here you're gonna see i'm gonna create a, a, a reducer and we have an empty array for state so here as you can see we have uh, this is the reducer so like i told you in the last episode this is a function we return uh, the data so here the function take finally the state where you are right now, take an action with the action that type, action that type right here, gonna uh, receive a case, and you're gonna change the state and return this new one. And don't forget by default inside the switch here, by default we're gonna return the state, so by default that's gonna be an empty array. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my create to do type. Sorry for this um, yellow thing, it's just because I have a to do stuff so it's uh, really <laughs> sorry so here what i'm gonna do it's so it's an array so here when i add a to do i'm gonna do i want to push but you want to keep your stuff uh, imitable so you're gonna want to return a new array so here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do dot 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 state so here what i mean it's everything i have before gonna be there and after that i'm gonna create my new object right here so here that's gonna be the object of the the, the to do so here, this is where I'm going to add text to be equal to action that text. So think about this, this is the type. So now you know, with the result of the know this is the type. So now you know action that text is this text. So here, text is going to be that. After that, uh, to do, we want it to be complete by default. So complete to be false. So that's going to be a Boolean. And after that, I want something to make me, my life easier when I'm going to uh, toggle stuff complete delete so you want an ID for this so here I'm gonna create an ID but it yeah that need to be unique so that's why I'm gonna add a library called UUID so this is a library for get a unique ID so at the top here I'm gonna import UUID from UUID v4 so here my ID finally gonna be equal to UUID and this is a function that's it so now I have a quick to do I have my text and now this is work. But 
what I forget it's I need to put this thing to replace this one I'm gonna import my to do's from to do's and now I'm gonna change this thing to be just an empty like that because uh, ES6 key value same you keep it like that so now my reducer I'm gonna have a to do like that so now what I can do it's inside my Redux dev tool I can here inside my tab I can say create to do I'm gonna put a comma I'm gonna say text equal hello world and now if I click dispatch if, if you see inside the uh, if you, so if you see here now I have a, a new to do and now if I click on state my state now I have a to do with the hello world right here so if I click another one hello world 2 and I see dispatch now I'm gonna have two to do's right here but you don't want the user to add the to do inside the console so what we're gonna do it's we're gonna jump inside the app here I'm gonna just make it uh, really uh, simple so I'm gonna just add this thing here and after that here I'm gonna uh, do my form I'm gonna create a form with an input type of text I'm gonna put a name of to do and no ID but I'm gonna add a placeholder of create a to do like that so now if I refresh so now you see I get my quick to do after that form cannot be a uh, form cannot be inside a, a class name yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put this class name inside my form I'm gonna delete the P so th that was semantic HTML now like that now if you use uh, create React app, we're gonna get that it's not defined yes so this is the ES land they show you we have logo here we don't use it so now we can remove it so if you remove it we have no nothing here so now I want to add that to do so now if I add and I uh, click enter my form refresh the screen so this is not what we want I mean it's uh, make no sense so what we're gonna do it's first thing we want to control the input of this stuff before uh, this stuff before we uh, show we do the thing in Redux so here I'm gonna create a state inside my app and I'm gonna say text to be equal to an empty uh, array and here I'm gonna change the name to be text if I do this if you open the react dev tool and I search for my app now my app have a state of text it's an empty so here if I start and I do value gonna be equal to this that state that text now what gonna happen it's my to do here it's okay but now if I type nothing happen because the text keep an empty if I put some text here and I save now look what's gonna happen I get my state but again I cannot type because my state don't change how can I change that it's by creating a function so we're gonna create a function called indel change you can give it the name you want we're gonna take an event so this event it's the same event of if you came from jQuery that's the same kind of event so this is the file is the event coming in from JavaScript so <clears throat> so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an unchanged I'm gonna put unchanged here and I'm gonna see this that now it's just because it's have too too much thing I'm gonna just format really quick yeah perfect and they'll change so now what I want to show you it's here I'm gonna console log my e that target if I console log my e that target now on inside my input now look what happened I get my input right here so it's my input so what I can do with that it's if you know a react you know we can change we can change the state by doing this that set state and here I'm gonna put square bracket e that target and if you look here e that target that name it's the same name of here so now I can say if that target that name so if I have more than one input I can change everything in one function and that's gonna be equal to uh, e that target that value so the name is here so now if I do this and I click on react I click on the app I uh, uh, see here the state I'm gonna put highlight update so you're gonna see uh, not a little bit you're gonna see here the change so now if I start to type you see I get hello coming so we so we buy finally the, the, the value with the state right there so now but now if I click enter the thing happen again because now we need to add a function to the form so here I'm gonna create another uh, function called endl submit I'm gonna take again an event this one we don't want anymore to refresh the screen so we're gonna prevent the default 
After that, inside the form, I'm going to add an unsubmit event, unsubmit, and that's going to be equal to this dot handle submit. So when I click enter, or if you have a button here, that's going to be the submit. So that need to be inside the form. So now, if I do this and I click enter, no refresh, but we don't add a to do. First thing, you need to connect for using what you use in Redux. So I'm going to do uh, CRR for import connect from Redux. And here at the bottom, I'm going to connect my app component with Redux. So now, if I save and I open my provider, I'm going to get my connect app. And now, if you see in the context, I have access to the store. But now I have nothing here. So now what I'm going to do here, it's I'm going to import my action. So here, I'm going to import from my uh, action uh, folder to do. I'm going to import create to do. I'm going to take this action here inside the connect, the connect take two uh, callback. The first one, it's map say to props. We're going to use it later. So for now, we're going to use undefined. And the second one, it's map dispatch props. So if you put curly bracket here like that, you're going to destructuring the create to do. So you don't need to do all the the stuff inside the map state to props. So here, after that, inside the ender submit, I think that's a good place to put the this that props that ender create to do. Because now the create to do, if we look inside the app, came as a props. So this that prop that create to do, and now easy, we can just do this that state that text. Oh, because we have only uh, state, we can just do this that state. But I. So now, if I do something like that. If I open my console and now I say hello, example, and I click enter, now my Redux logger, so the middleware we had in the last episode inside the store, so Redux uh, logger, this thing here, now we add a to do. So now, as you can see in Redux, we have an object, so this is my state, where I have a to do, it's an empty array. I call my action create to do with the text hello, and now I get a new object. So this is my new state with a to do, it's an array. We have one object, complete false, and add the ID coming from the UUID, and hello. If I add another one, I'm going to have the same, but now my preview state was an empty one uh, stuff inside the to-do, and now I have two. But why I don't get that, is why I don't see nothing, is because we didn't uh, get the list. So, really easy here. We're going to do, uh, we're going to break the line here, and here. First thing here, I'm going to do the map state to props. So what we can do is state here. So state here, I'm going to do to do equals state that to do. So for the one who know more, the cons map state to props equals state, and now you do like that, is the same. But I put my action right inside my uh, connect. So that here, now because I'm doing this, if I save and I refresh, now inside my React here, inside my app, I'm going to have access to the props to do, but it's an empty array. If I add a, a, a new one, now I have a to-do of one item. So now what I can do, it's right here, I'm going to map over that. I'm going to do this, that props, that to-dos, so the name of this, dot map, I'm going to have a to-do. Uh, like that and now right here I'm gonna have a div and now here I'm gonna do to do that text so if I do this and I show you what gonna happen if I start to type and I say hello example I get my hello I get new stuff first thing we're gonna change uh, we have two things to change yes we have an error but we're gonna do this thing first here but after we submit we're gonna just do this that set state so we control the input so it's easy to do text equal an empty string if I do this, after I'm going to refresh, I'm going to have nothing. What have this error? It's React. As Q, we need to have a unique key for each uh, stuff here. So here I'm going to do uh, key equal to do the ID. So now if I do this, no error at all. Everything worked perfect. So, and here the last thing we can do, I like to destructuring my stuff. So here I'm going to say text. An ID, because we destruct, we say we want the text and the ID from, coming from the to-do object. So now I can do like that. So that's going to be really easy to just I gotta do the same. Perfect. So uh, that was um, that's going to be this for this uh, episode. I hope you enjoy.
please subscribe if you like it and you want to receive notification when I uh, put another one and uh, like if you like it ask question in the comment and uh, hope you have a good day we see in the next part bye